my intention is to uh, prevent this, what happened to me from happening to others and to set free people to whom it's happening or has happened to exonerate people. And so teach people all the gaslighting methods that have, have experienced that have been used on me. If everybody knows about them, it can't be used anymore. You're aware of them, right? All the methods, all the scammers you use. So, and then that formula method, she tells the cops anything she wants to and gets away with. If that's the reason they conceal it, and the reason it's protected by law. The false accusations she tells of gets them turned against you because they want to perpetuate it, that's why. So it's going to be revealed, it's all going to be revealed, okay? And, you know, like, only lieutenant protection laws, supposedly they do protect some that are actually put to good use to protect people that need not that we want to have a place to stay. They're not abusing it. The people who are abusing it to get profit from cruelty, so like one way I know how to only use these methods on those. I only condone the use of these uh, to break that, that, that chain that they have on you if they're abusing you use these methods, only for these methods, not if somebody actually needs a place to stay and they're actually helping out. They're not malicious, you see? So one thing, you remove the door and the window. It's your house, you can do that, and so they don't have the place they can do their crimes in and get away with it. For that, but to stop crimes, go drug dealing, prostitution, all this stuff going on in the room in your house, remove the door and the window. There's nothing they can do about it. They don't have the right to. It's your house. Another method was revealed to me today by a gracious gentleman. Uh, and then it has to be tested, I'm not sure. But it sounds legit to me. I mean, the, 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 the way the laws are, someone's staying in your house taking advantage of tenant laws, because tenants are given extra immunity, I mean, the girl was doing drug dealing there, they know about it, that, that officer, again, Ben, what is it, he smells the fentanyl that I've, that I've put out there from the, after she's evicted, they claim, they come in and say they can't get that stuff because the Fourth Amendment protects the tenant. So, the method that I heard, and you, you can try, ten, since tenants are protected, what I should have done, make Tanya, make my girlfriend a tenant. Have a sign a lease, and pay, the, you can pay $10 a month, right? And then, so then she's officially tenant, then she has that protection, and she has the right to kick the other one out. She has tenant rights, tenants are protected, right? Grant that, that, that nobility, that immunity, that, that protection to someone you trust. It can't be you because you're the landlord and they treat the landlord like a scum. You get someone, a family member, someone's got to be someone you trust because in case it's another scammer, then you're screwed because they'll team up against you. Be careful, that's the method. Get it, somebody you trust, your own brother, your own sister, your own family member, in there and have them assume the role of tenant, then that tenant kicks the other one out. 